What's up everyone, this is Drexel Men's Soccer's number 16, Kyle Tucker. I'll be taking you through a day in my life here at home and showing you what it's like to be a dragon. So I'm heading out for a three mile run this morning. Uh, my parents are gonna bike alongside me. So come join us. Today's Saturday, and I'm looking forward to putting in some work. Let's go. So as you can see, I ran 3.02 miles in 19 minutes and 28 seconds, about a 6.30 pace. I'm pretty happy with that, um, but always looking to improve. Alright, just finished my cool down. It's now breakfast time. And here's the final product. Not too shabby if you ask me. As you can tell, we are pretty big. Man United fans in this family. We also love my dad's hometown team, the Oval Town FC. Go on you Glovers! And here's the basement setup that my grandpa built for my siblings and I when I was about eight years old. Uh, I'm very lucky to have this area. Uh, it's a great space for me to train and, and for me to work out. Obviously this is a very unique time for us. Uh, it's almost like an extended off season. In saying that, uh, I think it's very important that we as athletes stay focused on our goals and hold each other accountable. I think the best way to have accountability is through competition, and that's a really challenging part of the current situation that we're in, you know, not being able to work day in and day out with the squad on the field. So one thing us players did, we actually started a spreadsheet just amongst ourselves where we put in our different times and scores on the fitness that we've been doing. And this helps us just really compete against each other. You know, individually and collectively, we just want to make sure that we are completely ready for when we're back on the field. So now it's time for a little ab circuit and then body weight workout. So, let's go. Now time for lunch. <laughs> Having a nice social distant lunch with the grandparents. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> All right, lunch is finished, and now it's time for some technical work. I'm going to be put through the paces from my dad today. He's, he's got a session planned, so we'll see how it goes. Thanks to my dad, uh, my personal trainer and cameraman. He did a great job, put me through the paces today. I hope you enjoyed the workout. And like I said, I'm, I'm very blessed to have a basement like this where I can put in the work, but um, you can always do it in a parking lot, in your driveway, anywhere where you can find that space, do it and put in the work. Um, now, it's time to grab a snack, so let's go. And now I'm having a nice smoothie and a Gatorade protein bar after the technical training. So I'm gonna down these now. One new thing I've been doing in this quarantine period is reading Harry Potter. I never read the books when I was younger. I've currently read three of them. I'm on the fourth. 
and I'm gonna do some reading now. And here's my little work from home setup uh, with co-op being at home right now. This is where I spend my weekdays working. And for those of you who don't know what the co-op program is, it's actually a very unique and, and special program that Drexel offers uh, where six months out of the year, instead of going to classes, you would actually have the opportunity to learn while working with the company. Um, it's sort of like a six month long internship learning experience. As a group, uh, Drexel Men's Soccer is still finding ways to improve our game even during this time. Uh, we've started doing Zoom meetings twice a week discussing topics such as our culture and, and doing presentations on different tactical parts of the game. And through these Zoom meetings, us as players, we are getting to know the new coaching staff more. The staff is learning more about us too. Um, and we're just all so excited to really show the product of, of all of this hard work when we're back on the field this fall. And here's the dinner for tonight, a little vegetable ravioli with some side salad. I hope you all enjoyed the video. Thanks again for watching. I just can't wait to be back on campus and on the field. But until then, stay safe and go Dragons.